Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo GameCube. Last time, we completed Riverside Station, and today, we're about to, you know, advance to the third day of Express. Express. We're still on the train, yo. So let's go ahead and you know, go to sleep. So it can become a new day. Alright, train voyage day three. Ah, morning of a new day. I love it. It's so cool and brisk, too. I love that. Interesting. Alright, well then. It's a new day, so let's go ahead and just... Read our email! Why not? Alright. Hey, who's... Ooh, from Pop Hatch. Boy, you. Boy, Mario, how's your stash? Life on the island feels great. Huh. When the sun rises, I wakey-wakey, and when it sets, I tuck in for snoozer time. Perfect for a simple bloke like me, right? Every now and then, that's Cretan Flavio spits out some bit of drivel about treading water instead of seizing life. Flavio's back in Rogueport, guy. What, what are you talking about? All right. well, I just tune him out. So you off on another adventure? I think that suits you best. Give them hooligans what for and save your princess from Pop Patch. Isn't that nice? Okay. Nice to know they have Wi-Fi on that deserted island. Alright, let's go ahead and visit our fat friends. Not in here right now, he must be in the kitchen. Alright, alright, okay. What about that cougar woman? That materialistic cougar, is she in here? Hmm. Alright, well she must be at the gift shop. Then. Okay, alright. And that was where the false zip toad was? Alrighty. Let's go ahead and talk to the engineer. He, he hasn't been getting talked to, you know, that much about this little chapter. Did I already get the start list that was in here? Hmm, I assume I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Ah, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Wait a minute. That was the thing that was at Riverside Station. Hmm? Is there something on the windshield? Yeah, there's actually quite a few things on the windshield. Yeah, or, what are these things? Whoa, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. What should I do? Uh, first we have to ensure the passenger safety. But I have to keep driving the train. Mario! Okay, no, the stutter. Can you check on the passengers? Yes, we can. I like how, you know, those things on the windshield have caused, you know, everything on the train's panel to go out of control. But oh well. Now the train is being overrun with mysterious creatures. Pretty scary. We must do our duty, we must check on the other passengers, and that we will do, but Fatty and Cougar are nowhere to be seen, so... I assume the ghost will be fine, but we're not going to check the ghost. Okay, wow, well, then. Hmm. Waitress isn't here. Chef Shibi isn't here. The, um, shopkeep is here. Yes, yes. Oh, no! He's been killed. Say it ain't so. Oh, no, he's fine. Wah! I, um, there were a lot of black things everywhere. Did you save me? Wow. Man, he just goes right there. <laughs> He's not afraid of danger. This is, in fact, danger. I mean, they're just things covering the you know, windows. And, you know, nobody is anywhere. That's horrible grammar. You, you can't find everybody. Everybody's disappeared, so I'm trying to say. Even Penny took this. He's probably trying to get to the bottom of this. What about Business Rat? Business Rat is going to. And using the power of production, I'm going to assume that the Bob Bob family is no longer in there, too. Alright, and even the conductor is gone. It's going here. Baggage claim. Smork, 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 smork. Smork, and smork. Just a smork everywhere. Okay, these little monsters are inside the train now. Let's get them. Yeah, I'm just going to get them. In preparation. Let's go ahead and clear them out. Okay, and we 
we have saved somebody. We have saved the Lakers. Are they on the floor of the vector? How long is this helping? That will be good. All right, so we're just doing this to save the conductor from these things. Whatever the hell they are. He looks like it's Jimmy something. Russell. How did Tech Mario you save us again? Hey, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scared. They seem to have come to the package part of that open window. And they still have many of our paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls. Alright, well then, let's go ahead and save them. It is quite useful. Well, I mean, of course, it's needed to be the game. So now, these are actually rather than if you're fighting, not really fighting on top of the train, but fighting on the way to the front of the train. The snow is everywhere. The train. I assume if somebody was on the side of the road tracks, they'd be thinking this is a really weird sight. You know, an Italian plumber and a little Is that gross thing? No. Mario, look, it's got the other pattern. I already said that, Goombella. Way to state the obvious. Screaming for help. Hello, epic camera pan right there. It's more. Here we go. This is actually the boss fight of this chapter. Funny thing is, after this, there's still about 20 minutes of chapter left, so, uh, yeah. Just let that one sink in. Alright, and that is, in fact, S'more. He's like a Pokemon, he's saying his name, he's like, that's a S'more, lots of S'mores gathered to create this universe. My is 50, that's 5 defense is 1, and attach to weird tentacles. Defeating the tentacles will drop the body's defense to 0, making it easier to attack. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage. You may also take other forms for higher attack powers. I don't think Let's just hurry and beat this thing down so we can save those trap passengers. Indeed, we shall. Indeed, we shall. And there's Fatty right there! Oh, I meant that. I'm not even about to, you know, worry. Maybe I should have. Well, we'll... Well, I guess since I have the spring, though, that does... Enhance my we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Damn it! Okay. Let's lie to. Holy crap, that does not damage. Okay. Yep. Okay, what are, who's throwing something? Oh, nope, it's a rock. Okay. No. Not today, X not. Not today. Okay. We're gonna get Admiral Bobrick out here. I'm gonna just do five miles. Such a useful attack! Alright, and now we're free to do whatever the hell we want to sport. I'm gonna go ahead and use our attack. Ooh, maybe I should use power. Hmm. No, no, I'll use power. So now we are just drawing circles around him. I gotta draw it around his whole body to do max damage. Oh my god, I gotta draw it. Oh wow. No, I just have to be around the pink area. That was pointless. Alright. Probably should have saved Art Attack for this, actually. Crap. It's hard for me 
to anticipate when he's going to release the tentacle like that. Alright, so... Yeah, let me get Aubrey. Another bomb on this. I probably should have did stylish moves so that I could at least be a sweet feast. But, oh well, live you learn. Ah, come on! <laughs> I hate myself! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it. Yep, come on, 4 FP! Yes! Thank you! Alright. I redeemed myself somewhat. Not really. Still an embarrassment. Power bounce. Now he is taking on Scorpion Form! I gotta retattle. Holy shit! Thank you, Boo! You're my best friend! Aww, I got a nice Make me invisible. Okay. So now another, uh, Bahamas. Cause holy shit! Keep forgetting to do stylish moves. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heal just on the off chance. Uh, screw it, I'll use a whack a lot. I use a lock. Alright, and well, technically that was a pointless, uh, you know, invisible. Looks like, uh, does he? Recharge? I cannot remember. I know he has one more form, but screw it, I'm probably gonna mess up this power bounce anyway, so yeah, you'll be able to see it. I did not do that on purpose, I legit messed that up. Oh no, it's just Scorpion. Sorry, Bobbery. Oh well. And then one more bar Mambas, and yeah, we're out of here. Alright, I really thought he had one more form. Maybe I just did too much damage and skip. Huh. Oh well, hey. I ain't complaining. Yeah, we got Merle up in the building. Increase my star points. Holy shit! Thank you so very much! And what am I going to do? Oh yeah, star, 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 star. Going down the line! Since it's compulsive like that. Yeah, that's actually a rather easy boss fight, but yeah, you know, it's it's there. This chapter needed a boss fight, I guess. Thank you. What well, looks like all you uh, looks like all you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Uh, no, no. Uh, side note. You really would think- well, no, no, I'm not even going to spoil it right now. I'm not even going to spoil it. I'll, I'll, I'll just do this thought when the time comes for said thought. All right. Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you much. You saved my life. No, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. So, did you all know this dashing fellow's been the famous Luigi all along? We will soon arrive at Poshley Heights. They, they just ignore Pennington. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. Finally! Finally! We are at the place where the next crystal star is. There's no way I can do this next part in five minutes. But at the same time, it's probably going to be like a ten minute part if I just keep it to itself, but... 
Eh, eh, whatever. Alright, I'll explore this first screen, and then the next screen will be for the next time. Attention all passengers! Now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please watch your step, and be sure to take all of your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the XS Express. Yeah, I will never ride with this train company again. There, there's just too many problems. Like, you, you got people stealing food and weird insect creatures abducting the train. Like, no, no, enough of this. Never again. We made it, old boy. Let's find that partially sick that Professor Frankly spoke of. Post haste. Yes. Post haste. So, yeah, we're just, you know, walking through the train, finding the exit. Which is right here. Oh boy. Alright, and finally, we are here at Poshley Heights, and that is still one badass looking train. Alright, there's the business rat. Hmm. Just throwing everything on the expense account, I see. We got the family of Bob-Oms. No, I don't have a train set for sale. Okay. This we already found him a super present. Bad parents, you? And no, I'm sure they're good parents. I'm sure they're decent parents. Get off there, Bobbery. Thank you. All right. And I assume this is the Bob-Oms house. Actually, looks rather nice. Do not need to go in there for any reason whatsoever. So I'll just go ahead to right here. And star piece. They have robot, uh, robot, robo cheeks in their pool. That's not good. You should really get your pool clean. And we got some more stuff over here. And yeah, like a star piece. And nothing in particular. Right here, hidden block. Okay. And let's go ahead and explore this house. Oh, this is where she lives. She also has a piano. Okay. Hmm. Alright, she says nothing of importance. And there's nothing of importance up here. Alright, so... This is just a little sneak peek at Poshley Heights. Next time, we're gonna go find Poshley Sanctum and get this here crystal star. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day.